an extraordinary tale where a young boy's kindness holds unimaginable power. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us grow. The Kindness Boy Once upon a time, in a small village nestled by a shimmering river, there lived a young boy named Newell. Newell had a heart full of kindness and a smile that could brighten even the gloomiest of days. One sunny morning, as Newell made his way through the village, he noticed an old woman sitting on a worn-out bench near the market. She had a tattered shawl draped over her shoulders, and her wrinkled face wore a look of sadness. Newell's kind heart stirred, and he approached her with a gentle smile. Hello, ma'am. Newell greeted her warmly. My name is Newell. Are you feeling all right? The old woman looked up at him, surprised by his kindness. Her eyes sparkled with tears as she replied. Oh, young boy, I am feeling quite weary. I have no family to care for me, and life has been a struggle lately. Noel's heart ached for the old woman, and without hesitation, he offered his hand to her. Come with me. Ma'am, I will help you. With gratitude in her eyes, the old woman took Newell's hand, and together they walked through the village. Newell led her to the bustling market, where the colorful fruits and vegetables filled the air with their delightful aroma. Newell approached a kind-hearted fruit vendor named Mr. Samuel and explained the old woman's situation. Moved by Newell's compassion, Mr. Samuel gave them a basket filled with the freshest fruits. Newell and the old woman thanked him with heartfelt smiles. As they continued their journey, they passed by a tailor's shop. Newell's eyes lit up with an idea. He asked the tailor, Mrs. Jenkins, if she had any spare fabric to make a warm blanket for the old woman. Mrs. Jenkins, touched by Newell's thoughtfulness, gladly handed him a bundle of soft, colorful fabric. With the fruit basket in one hand and the fabric in the other, Newell and the old woman made their way back to her humble cottage. They entered the cozy little house, and Newell carefully prepared a plate of fresh fruits for her. As the old woman savored the sweetness of the fruits, she couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the kindness Newell had shown her. Tears of gratitude streamed down her wrinkled cheeks as she hugged Newell tightly. Thank you, dear Newell, she whispered. You have brought warmth to my heart and happiness to my soul. You are a true angel. Newell's face beamed with joy for he knew that acts of kindness could truly make a difference in someone's life. From that day forward, Newell visited the old woman often, sharing stories, <laughs> laughter, and moments of companionship. And so, the village learned of Newell's kindness, and one by one, its residents began to embrace the spirit of compassion. The village flourished with love and care, and Newell's acts of kindness sparked a chain reaction that spread throughout the entire community. From that day forward, Newell became known as a kindness boy in the village. He taught everyone that a simple act of kindness, no matter how small, could bring happiness to others. And in the end, it was Newell's genuine kindness that turned the village into a place of love, warmth, and everlasting joy. The moral of the story is that kindness can change lives and spread happiness. The Kindness Boy story teaches us that being kind is powerful. When Newell showed compassion to the old woman, it made her feel loved and happy. Newell's acts of kindness inspired others to be kind too, making the whole village a better place. So, remember to be kind. 
Your kindness can bring smiles, make a difference, and spread happiness to others. The end. Subscribe to check out our other moral stories. Like and share if you enjoyed this story. See you next time. Goodbye.